pledge allegiance. <laughs> pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Heavenly Father, thank you today for praising your name and thank you for all the blessings that you have given us. We pray ahead your protection around the Scott County and all of its citizens. And we ask you to be with us today and help us to make informed decisions and to be good stewards of the money of the citizens of Scott County. Thank you, Lord, for everything you've given us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. All right. We have, um, we have two people missing. John Miller, J.R. Ward is on his way. He's stuck in traffic. Um, <laughs> True. Okay. Um, I don't see Mark, so do you want to just keep it as is? Okay. Um, I just need. Do I have a motion to accept the agenda as is? So we can move forward. <coughs> motion to accept the agenda, Diane. All in favor? <clears throat> okay. Okay, did you ask for anybody to be opposed? For the agenda? Uh -huh. Oh, I'm sorry. Do do we have an opposition for the agenda? Uh -huh. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I do apologize. Thank you. What, what is I'll the... even go back to one of the, uh, we've got the minutes right here. It says the list be abstained from voting on the agenda last time. And the uh, seated family that I abstained, I've never abstained from vote since I've been here. And I don't plan on doing it now, and I didn't do it then. I don't think anybody, anybody asked for a... Uh, a no vote on that, so I'd like to have that changed. Okay, this is just for the agenda, though. We'll get to those to the minutes. We'll get to the minutes. We'll get to the minutes on the okay. on the agenda. All right. Okay. Um, and I just saw that Mark got here. Mark, you need to move to the front of the of the agenda. Did you, did you need to move? That'd be wonderful. Okay. Um, well, we're just going to go back to the beginning then, and um, I'd like to make a motion to move Mark Gardner with the. Survey. Surveyor um, to the first. Um, okay. Any objections? No. All in favor? Okay. All right, Mark. We'll start with you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mark Gardner, your county surveyor. There is a fund for section corner perpetuation. I think the number is two zero one two. I'd like I. Would request an appropriation for sixteen thousand uh, dollars. Let's see if possible to cover the cost of settings section corners for the first six months of this year. I normally bill once a year, but it's getting a little more than I would care to hold on to for a whole year. So I'm going to start billing biannually. Okay. So move to approve. Thank you. I'll second. That. Okay, Eric, do we have any questions or concerns? I have Eric and Collins. All in favor? I vote. All right. Thank you for Thank your you. time and thank you for allowing me to move forward. Thank you, Mark. Okay. Back to the top. Purdue Extension. Megan. Okay. We just need to um, put $600 and move it to um, longevity for Shelly Poffenbach, our office manager. We just forgot to do that um, when we did the budget last year. Any questions or concerns? All right, I have Eric making a motion. Is it you? Yeah. All in second. All in favor? Thank you. All right. Um, judge Hauser is next. You want me to do, do judge? You going to do judge? Sure. Okay. Judge Hauser requests to transfer two hundred forty-eight dollars from her postage line to law books. Move to approve. Any questions or concerns? I have Eric with a motion, John Collins second, all in favor? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Cemetery. Health department. Health department. Did I miss it? On the agenda. It's not on the oh, appropriation. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I'm going through the... I don't have anything on it. Okay. Health department. I just have a request for grant application. This okay. is one that we've gotten before. It's a COVID supplemental grant for $28,617.12. Covers immunization, supplement for personnel, equipment, supplies, marketing for immunization clinics. And it costs to the town. Huh? Costs to the town. Nothing. Nothing. No, it's just, it's a grant for $28,000 to help us with immunization. Any questions or concerns? All in favor? And the easy button today. I think it's just Thank you guys. All right. You can copy that tomorrow. Just need to get the two stories all together. All right, now we're at the cemetery. Right? Yep. Yes. Um, we're going to go to the people that mow the cemeteries and we had to purchase it quickly so we just need to transfer fifteen hundred dollars into repairs and maintenance and travel and mileage to cover where we spent money for the trailer. Move to approve. A second. Any questions or concerns? I have Eric with the motion. Diane, was it you? Diane second. <coughs> All in favor? Okay. Uh, the Children's Advocacy Center. Kelly Jeff. I don't think she's here. Is that here? It looks like we have a resolution from the council. Okay. I mean, from the commissioners. It's to approve uh, $25,000 out of the opioid unrestricted for CASA. For Children's Advocacy Services. For. For CASA or the, the Advocacy Center? I'm sorry, the Advocacy, Advocacy Center. Center. Yes. Sorry. Yes. So this is the um, this is the Advocacy Center that we worked with last year. Um, they do all the interviewing for uh, child sexual assaults. Um, they have the Satellite Center in Madison. And someone can help me out. North. They've got a couple in North. But we use, Scott County uses the Madison Satellite Center. And so we worked with them last year. We gave them twenty-five thousand, I believe, last year. And so they're back asking for twenty-five thousand um, since we do utilize their services and out of the opioid unrestricted. Yes. So and the balance right now is one twelve eight ninety nine. So my my only question is how the opioid money. I mean, I understand health advocacy and all that, but how does the opioid money funding that have, how do they go together? Well, the unrestricted, it doesn't have to be um, specific to the op opioid, I don't believe, but a lot of a lot of the issues that these children are having in the homes and that are, could be and more than likely opioid related. So that would be your correlation if you need one. Do we get any type of report from them showing how they utilize the funds that we've given them? They kept the, the facility open. Well, I understand that. <laughs> I understand that, but like the number of Scott County citizens that have been using the center versus other centers. I don't believe that we have anything to date. I don't believe we have anything to date. No. They have. There's a letter attached that tells how many children they helped in southeastern Indiana. Sixty-two hundred from southeastern Indiana. Hundred and fifteen. I'm sorry. Hundred and fifteen. It's in the letter. That's in there. It's attached to the commissioner's resolution. And they're also opening a new prevention education program in the Scott County Schools this coming year. Mm -hmm. So, um, do I have a motion to? You got to create the line. Oh, we need to create the line. Uh, do I have a motion to create the line item? Thirty seven oh one. Thirty seven oh one for professional services. Do I have a motion to create that line item? 
I'll make a motion. Do I have a second? Oh, I'm sorry, any questions or concerns first about the line item? <laughs> Data on it personally, and what kind of what kind of data are you looking for? On, so I can pass the pass on, it on. Um, what our citizens are using to make sure that our citizens are getting the full amount of what they are, our kids, whatever uh, the children from here are getting the full amount of what they should be getting with that money. Does that make sense? There, with the money that we because I'm not very familiar with what all they do, and I would just like to see some additional. I mean, I understand, but at the same time, they're not here. To kind of so we can it. we can table it if you'd like. I would like that right. and ask them to be yeah. just to give us a little bit more information on that. So I I'll withdraw my motion um, to create a line item. Uh, do I have a motion to table? I move that we table it. I'd second that. Any questions or concerns? Just a little bit more information on how how it's affecting our kids and, and you know what kind of results we're getting that kind of thing. Um, I have an initial by John Collins, second by White. All in favor to table? The table? Five vote. <coughs> table, yes, table. Is that what you wanted, Eric? Yes. Okay. I'm not against it, I just would like to have a little bit more information. Yep. You're good. All right, Sheriff. Um, before we start, um, I would like to make a motion to um, table. The sheriff had asked um, that we table his vehicle um, request to a later date. So I'd like to make a motion to table that to a later date. Any questions or concerns? All in favor to table vehicle? All right, got that out of the way. Floor's yours. All right. Uh, I humbly come back to you asking for uh, the pay raise from our folks again. Uh, we've got the monies covered in our budget uh, through our figures and also Baker Chili's figures. It's not going to cost the taxpayers any money besides the monies, you know what I'm saying, that they would normally be paying. Uh, actually, my budget that I'm asking for this year is less than the budget that I asked for last year. So uh, I've explained everything pretty much into detail about what I'm wanting to do. Uh, and really probably just need to open the floor for any questions, you know what I'm saying, that you would have, because I don't think you want me to go through the whole <laughs> scenario again. But I'll be more than happy to if we need to. She didn't put it on here, but it's this one. I think, I think this really the bottom line on it is, is that no, this, he's doing it. this is no addition to the taxpayers. This is money that was Baker Kelly said we had and they showed where we could sustain it. You could just sustain at the end of the year and this next year, but can you sustain it for the next five or six years? Yeah. Yeah. According to Baker Kelly, we can. Yeah, that's this what year. they said. Because what this budget so, is here it that we use it from. The budget that the monies we use are going to be the same monies that we will have, and then but what they're saying is that the monies will even be a better shape than the CARES Act or something. No, I think we should we actually be able have to maintain it better the in the next time. several years of what we can now. Sheriff, sure, do you know off the top of the head, your head the funds for this year? I know you had them all laid out, the funds, so we know. If they're going to make a motion, what that's going to be? I was yes, looking through my old stuff to see, but I don't see it. So you want to take it from the lit safety and put it in to thirteen one hundred one and eleven six hundred three? Is that what this? So it's I just make sure. Yeah, that would cover that for this year. Yes. Okay. So it would go from lit into those two deputy investigator accounts in the amount. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. I think I mean, may read it. Yeah. Well, that's what I thought you were saying, yeah. but I, I wasn't positive. So for this year, Sheriff is looking to move um, the money that has been allocated to out of his public safety into his investigator line into his deputy line um, in the amount of thirty-seven thousand four hundred thirty-four dollars and seventy-four cents. Now this is just this is what we're talking about for this year. Um, and then he had laid out at the workshop his plan for sustainability. 
all. Um, and these are these funds here are monies that are there this is nothing additional. Right. This is money that we've got left from uh, being shorthanded right now. So. Um, Do I have a motion to approve um, sheriff transferring money from the lit public safety into investigator line into his deputy line in the amount of $37,434.74. And that is for this year. That is for this year. Yes. So that's no that's no additional money is coming from general for this year. Just that's for the lines. Right. And then at the budget for next year we reevaluate. Right. He he already has his his budget and with Baker Tilly he had figured out how to sustain it with budget cuts within his okay. current budget. Okay. So there would be no additional monies that we were we would be funneling into his department. He figured it out how to cut his budget. Yes, but it's still up to the council, I think, to answer her question to approve the budget for yes. next year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And that was what we had the Baker Tilly folks here to do, and I've even got a copy of my budget for next year that they, they, it's already completely done. All you got to do is just approve it or disapprove it, you know. We did the due diligence. We went and did the work. We did everything we thought we needed to do to make sure there wasn't any kind of confusion, any kind of uh, problem, you know, what we wanted to do. So. Um, and we're taking some skin in the game too. This is just not right. because we, you know, we discussed that before mm -hmm. what we was going to do. So it's just hard for me to get somebody five hours an hour increase. Well, here's yeah, and I get that. Uh, I we're, not, we're not General Motors or Ford Motor Company yeah. or anything else. We're a small county, and we have enough trouble paying our bills the way it is. It looks like so. Yeah, and but the, my counter to that is is that I'm doing it with the budget I've already got that was already approved. So it's not like I'm coming and saying, hey, I need more money to give these folks pay raise. That's not it at all. This is money that we've got. And this, and what this does also is it not only gets our our um, deputies um, definitely the um, the pay that they, they need to be competitive. It will keep, we will stop being a jumping point um, for people coming in and then leaving. Um, but also it's, it's setting us up for future sheriffs, future deputies, a future department where we're not stuck in two, three, four years going. We're $30,000 behind and we need to now funnel in a million dollars. This is, those are just figures I pulled out of the air. I want to clarify that. But this is just getting us, this is getting us to a point where we can work with these salaries. So I understand the $5 an hour, but we are very much behind the ball on, on um, salaries. It's much deserved and um, much think, needed. I think this needs to be put off till we do the budget because the sustainability part of it is assuming we leave the budget where the budget's at. Okay. And we don't know what we're going to do with the budget. We know what you're asking for in the budget. But this is not for next year. Uh, this is what you're voting on. Yes, yeah, yeah, but you can't vote on the raise, Jerry. Tonight, you have a guy five hours an hour, and then the budget don't work out in our favor. And okay. then, then we tell them January 1, we're going to take it. Well, I understand what you're saying. I, I, all I can say is, is this. You know, I made the presentation. Mm -hmm. I came up with everything we thought we needed to do within my budget, within our money. Mm -hmm. And I, I just lost a uh, detective, and he, I didn't lose one. I lost two because that, we just lost close to $100,000 from the federal government funding for that. So we lost two people. So I mean, I've got at least two one. more right now in the process. We're what, two this. weeks away from budget. Yeah, so we, next Thursday. we do, yeah. Right, yeah. A week, we, we, a week. yeah, next, yeah. Thir next <coughs> Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is budget. Yeah. Um, so, um, so are you making a motion to table it? Is that what you're I'd doing? feel a whole lot better to table it. Okay. And let, let us look at what next year is going to be. Mm -hmm. And if the money is there, then, then we'll do it. But, but right now, I'm, I'm just not ready to vote on it. And, and especially, we're, we're two members short tonight. I don't buy like that. And that and that is um, a valid point. So. Um, if so, I have a motion by. Okay, I have a motion by um, White. 
Do I have any concerns or questions for us to table it? To table it, and then when we do budget in a, whatever the week, yeah. we can have a better idea. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Of what we would have to report to, to yes. be able to sustain it for the following year. And, and like um, Johnny White said, you know, we're, we are two mm -hmm. um, board members short, so we can go to council members short. So. Um, well, that's that's a six hundred thousand dollar raise, and I I really hate to knock two people out of vote. On that. Yeah. I, I really do. Okay, so I have White as an initial to table. I'm sorry, who was? Did you do the second? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have Collins, second. All in favor to table. Okay, that's that's fine. I, you know, it is what it is. So here's here's my only take on this is. My only take on it is this, uh, and I, I don't mean this in a bad way, but my folks are losing confidence yes. in not me, but yes, yeah, because yeah. they just don't think you know what I'm saying that you give a crap about. Yeah, and I, we, I know we, it's not. We care. I we absolutely do. do. We, yeah. just, we don't know what's coming. So, not, um, yeah, I'm not arguing with you. I'm just giving you the facts, you know what I'm saying, how I know. Well, we, we've talked in great detail. We have. Yeah. Yeah. So, I just, uh, here, we just got to make a decision as this. Just please make a decision because it's the waiting game that's got everybody stressed out. You know, we just need, if, it, if you're not for it, don't, put, just tell me you're not for it. That's what I say. If you are for it, you know what I'm saying, then, then go for it. That's the only thing I ask for. I just want to make sure we can, that my only issue is sustaining it for 2024. I understand you've got it for this year. I have no problem with yeah. that. My, and I, it's not even an issue, it's a concern. If we can do it in our budget in one week to sustain it, go for it. Yeah. But if you can't, I don't want to give it to somebody right. and then take it away. No, I understand that. I, and I know for sure. Yes, I do. And that, that's the reason why we went to Baker Chili, though, that they said we could sustain it. And that we did all that, I think. So, but that's but, doing a lot of us. Look, I know. Yeah. Well, everything that you do in this job that you do is a similar thing. Everything. So that's what the. And we've got movies in here, so we're all in the middle of how to do the budget and everything else, too. So you're. you're I know you're at our mercy, but we don't want you to feel that way. We, we well, would no, like I, to see things done, too. But we just, here's the thing about this is I'm not at your mercy because it don't affect me now. Right. This affects the yeah, it does, employees. Yeah, it affects your employees, right. and that affects you. Right. Yeah, and it also affects, you know what I'm saying, the citizens because mm -hmm. we've got some drastic, drastic, well, you know what I'm saying, things we've got to come up with, if, you know, but that's at a later date. Yeah. We don't to worry about that, but. I guess, is there any other questions that anybody's got? Because I want to make sure that everybody understands. You've answered about everything. And I, don't know and I appreciate all the hard work that you do. Yeah, me too. I prepare and do appreciate your office and what they did. Yeah. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. And this is actually a question for your attorney. Thank goodness. The big bucks. <laughs> so, because um, I was asking for this year's to take effect, the only thing about it is, is that we can't talk about that next Thursday, can we? Because that would be for 2024 budget. Or can we talk about it? Because this is 2023 we're talking about, and then can we? Talk we're just about having it? budget workshops. We're not okay. having a meeting. You're, okay. Yeah. If I, what I will say is that if people are, if in that budget meeting people are comfortable with the 2024 and the sustainability, the president or a majority of the council members can always ask for a special meeting to come back and vote on the 37000 for the rest of for the, the rest. year. Okay. Yes. Okay, good I just want to make sure that we wasn't cross pollinating yeah, anything. Great. So. No, no, no. You're fine. Those are workshops, so we won't be voting early on anything, right? I mean, we're just doing the, we're just meeting and doing the budgets mm -hmm. together, yep. making sure it's it's okay, and then we, we will publish, and then we'll vote on the budget at a later date, not during those meetings. So, okay. yep. All right. Just so, want to make sure. Yep. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. See you. All right, Mr. Owens. You better got here on the end. I thought I'm gonna take a little longer to get down to this part. Of Virginia, good for you guys. So I'm here. Um, I, I came to that little budget walk workshop 
and uh, as long as I don't need work here for that, but um, and I have some numbers. So what I've asked for, we'll talk about this next week in the budget session. What I've asked for in the budget session is I currently have four county paid deputy prosecuting attorney spots. But um, of those four spots, I had two deputy prosecutors several months ago uh, leave to take other jobs. And now I had one applicant to fill both of those spots. And um, I'm confident from what people are telling me it's based on the, on the pay. So we have a, a spot that's sitting vacant that we've had no one apply for. Um, and in addition to it sitting uh, vacant, earlier this year that same spot was on the turning room. So there's actually uh, $51,456.42 <coughs> sitting in that fund for this year that, not, that nothing's going to happen. There's no one in that spot. And so what I've asked for in the 2024 budget is for me to take $38,000 of that salary, which pays um, $67,163.20. Um, I've, I've asked for $38,000 of that to divvy up between my other uh, county paid deputy prosecutors, the three that are, that are still here, um, and then cut that to $29,000 and $30,000 in next year's budget to have in case we can hire someone part time, I can hire someone on you know, a temporary basis or something along those lines. But in all honesty, probably just to, to sit there and not use, hopefully. And that's for 2024, and I hope to sustain that again for 2025. For, so for what this meeting is for is I'm asking you to go ahead and pay those three county paid deputy prosecutors at that new rate. And so what we would be asking uh, for Brad Hall, who's been a deputy prosecutor here for over five years, but he does misdemeanors, level six felonies, DUIs, thefts, that kind of stuff. We're asking for an additional $3,641.60. Uh, for Sherry Porter, who does our child support enforcement, she also is our domestic violence prosecutor, among some other things. We're asking for an additional $3,027.20. And then Mark Kiesler is my um, first trial deputy. He handles, ma handles major felonies, the drug dealing cases, and then also a lot of other major felonies, everything from, you know, uh, burglaries, robberies, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, we're asking for an additional $4,972.80. That's a total for the remainder of this year of $11,641.60. Again, to come out of that um, that part of the uh, fund that's got $51,456.42 sitting there. Um, and we talked last time about different salaries in these positions, and I'll just to hit on it again and not to get, compare uh, every little county around, but you know, ours is the lowest, and by quite a bit. A deputy prosecutor, uh, every county that has a prison in it gets an additional deputy prosecutor paid for by the state, but they're just they're a deputy prosecutor like the other deputy prosecutors in their office. The state pays those people $124,000 for that position. Um, our deputies here are making $67,163 essentially for that same spot. So I'm just asking to get this money up to something, and and the new the new salary that would be for the two, for two of those deputies would be seventy nine thousand dollars, and then for Mark, who's our first trial deputy, that would take his salary up to ninety five thousand. Um, Can you make us copies of that? This is just an email that Deb sent me yesterday with those numbers. So I yeah I'm having no problem I giving those. So. Yeah, she sent it to me. I asked her just to run those. So yeah. Absolutely. You want it right now? Or? No, that's fine. Okay. I'd like to have four days later. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> you got it already? Okay. And so, just to clarify, you got 51,456 sitting in an account. If yep. you remove the 11,641 and pay them for 23, leaving 39,814.82 in that account, and you don't want to refund that any further in 24, it will just sit there dormant. Well, I think it's a, I think that counts a county general count, so I think it'll probably revert back to you guys. But I'm saying that's what you wish me to do. Yes. Just leave that dormant there for now. Yeah, and what I'd like to do is take that position that's a tick, <coughs> that currently has a salary of sixty seven one sixty three twenty. I think in my budget I asked to fund it like at thirty thousand roughly uh, for next year, and then the remainder of that money could would then go to the deputies who are currently working. And I've talked to my staff, I talked to them again today, because basically what we've done is everyone took on a, a few, a couple hundred extra cases. Took, uh, I see as an attorney, <laughs> rise rates. Each deputy basically took on a couple hundred extra cases 
to cover this spot that's not filled, and I can't get anybody to apply for it. Um, and so what we plan to do is we plan to try to, they, they've told me, hey, we will continue this workload to get this money, you know, we'll, we've, and we've been doing it for a while now, several months, and they say, it's a lot, but, you know, hey, we're willing to do this, we're willing to, and I talked to them today, I said, are you willing to do this all through next year, and they said, yes, hey, are you willing to, to do this, you know, extending past next year, if, if, if possible, and they said, yes. Now, know that anything can happen. You never know when you have one of these mass type tragedies that completely changes everything uh, as far as caseloads go and what's needed in an office. But. Well, you're like the sheriff. We can't do, really vote on this, can we? We need to table this until after budget. You can, we can vote on it. You can vote on the remainder of this year. Yeah. I mean, that's all or, that well, the sheriff was asking for and that Chris is yeah. just asking for this year. This, this meeting right. today, I'm asking for the You're rest just of this letting year. the council know that you have already thought how to sustain this forward into 2024 and it's not going to change your budget request. My budget was already take, take, took that into account during my budget request. Correct. Correct. So I think that what I'm hearing from you guys is that you're, you're worried about the sustainability in 2024. Mm -hmm. And what I hear uh, Prosecutor Owen saying, is it Owens or Owens? Owens. Owens. Yeah. I, I work with Matt Owen, who doesn't like it when you put an S, and I have a Peters. People don't put this on. Anyway, so what I'm hearing them say is that they have forecasted their budget for 24. It is sustainable at the current 2023 budget. You're not adding anything else in. He just wants the appropriation now to move that money around to be able to make the increase now. So what we're... For the remainder of this year. But isn't that exactly what Sheriff Gooden... Yes. ...stated and yes. we... Tabled and then we tabled it. it. Yes. I say we tabled it. I, I won't vote to give raises in the middle of the year. We, we determined that back the first of the year we were not going to do that. And that's basically, you know, these are already filled positions. They knew what they paid at the first of the year. Uh, I, I, for one, won't do raises in the middle of the year. Uh, I'm just one. But, but come next week, the budget says we need. Things are different. We'll, we'll look at them in the, for next year. And I will say the difference is, and that's just me. You, I mean, Ms. Peters can tell you whenever you add a couple hundred cases to an attorney's caseload, and a couple hundred cases is probably um, probably more than most attorneys even handle in a year. Uh, like as far um, as far as especially when it comes to like criminal defense work, that's, yeah, I don't know what their caseloads are, but I'm sure a couple hundred cases is probably more than one even gets total. Let alone to add that on to what you're already telling them. If it's a, you know, it, it's a it's a big deal for them. It's a it's a lifestyle change, um, you know, just the amount of hours and what it, the amount of stress, what it takes away from your family. Okay, so I have I have a motion by Diane to table. Do I have any concerns or questions? Do I have a second to table it? Yeah, I'll show up a little. All right, I have Diane making a motion to table, and I think what, just like we kind of discussed, or what she, they had discussed with the sheriff going into budget session, and like she said, if, we're, if it comes to we're comfortable as a council, entire council with the 2024, then we can do a special session to, to do the remainder of the year 2023. Okay, so it's work. tabled until further notice, essentially, which you think will be after budget. Right, and budget's not going to be. Well, and like I told when Sheriff Gooden asked me if, you know, President Eubanks or more than a majority member of the council say, okay, well, now we're confident that they can sustain this in 24. Let's have a special meeting and do those requests. I, I don't yeah. think that would be inappropriate. Yeah. And I think that's doable on 48 hours notice, just like any other meeting that we would have. So um, I have a motion by Diane to table, second by Collins. All in favor? Okay. So I have one question. Yes. I don't, can you, so if it's granted, would that just be from there going forward or could it be, could you get back pay there for this time? 
And that's, I mean, that's something that we'd have to. That would be something to be made in a motion. I mean, you can request that if we have a special meeting or at the next month's meeting and you want to bring it forward, you can request the back pay, but that ultimately is going to be up to them. I don't see it. There's not a legal reason that you can't say, can we make this a point, you know? effective you know september 1 or october or august 1 or yeah. whatever it is you count we just need to make sure the calculations are right out there but if you're asking for one right yeah so you know and the further along it goes that right. if we were to start it if we were to start it october 1st that's going to be different than the numbers that you want to put forward so so that's something that we can um that you can ask for put and we can we can vote on so okay. not advertise yeah all right. Okay. All right. And you're scheduled for budget. Some, sometime. I don't is it the 20th? I don't know. Is it's that one of the days it's supposed to be? It's next Friday. Friday. It's Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday, Thursday, Friday. As long as you have a slot. He has a slot. You got a All slot. Right. I show the 20th at 845. And we'll see you bright and early. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those I won't be able, I'll be able in and out there. All right. Yeah, thank you. you yep, thank you. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Auditor and treasurer on the, is it Lau or no? Lau. 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 Afternoon. <clears throat> All right. I know we. <laughs> We're talking about this last month. The only reason we come back is Lau has gave us another proposal, like a breakdown. Instead of one month sum, they have three sums instead. Maybe that makes it a little bit easier. Um, do you guys have that first paper that has the breakdown on it? So instead of like 288,000 coming out all at once. Um, they have for this year 113,000. And then in 2024 and 2025, it would be 87,500. So um, we've been having a lot of people um, coming in here lately trying to pay their properties off the tax sale. Um, a lot of these people, when they come in, they have multiple parcels. So when they come in, they have like two parcels or one parcel on tax sale, but the other two aren't. When we look them up, they should be on tax sale. So our current system is faulty. We are losing money because we're not collecting that money. Most of them are like four payments behind now. When to get on tax sale, you just have to be three payments behind. So we are losing revenue that way. Um, and I do know some of the exemptions have been falling off. Some of them, some of them are human error. We're human. We're going to make mistakes. But some of them are just falling off properties for no reason whatsoever. Um, some of the emails that I had sent you guys, I think I sent my computer email last Wednesday. Um, some of the other counties say they're not having issues anymore with exemptions falling off or with any... Um, what am I trying to say? With any the homestead, the, yeah, the homestead. Falls off yeah. the most. People come in, they're like, "We haven't changed that," and yeah. it's like, "I know," and we haven't changed it here either. But they're falling off; they're being changed. So people yeah. are paying more in their taxes there. Yeah. I actually had a call at the beginning of the year, and I'm not sure why that wasn't there. Hampton Oaks called me, and they said, "I think we owe you taxes. I think you owe taxes too." It was nowhere in the yeah. system. So things are being lost. And, and I understand that software is expensive. I, I understand is. that. But when but we're with, missing money, when yeah. we could be getting more money, that's where it's an issue, I think. And the first I heard of, of WOW software, any software, is when I trained in Jackson County after I was elected. And when I walked in there, and the girl said, what do you use? And I said, we've got WOW on the finance side, and we've got MVP on the tax. And she goes, oh, my gosh. She said, that MVP is going to cost you money. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know. And like I said, I went through settlement with them. It was a six hour process. Here, it was six weeks. Mm -hmm. Truthfully, um, we've still got things with the city of Austin that aren't added up just right. We've, we've balanced, but I overpaid the city of Austin. They need to pay us back. It, we can make it work at the end of the year, but that's still money that got moved around that shouldn't. And we had to have Lau come in and help us finish that settlement because MVP was not capable of helping us with that. Well, and multiple things. Like, I don't know how Jennifer does the settlement, but I know I pull the reports and I give those to her. 
But when I would give her the reports, when somebody was helping her, they're like, where did you get these numbers yes. from your reports? <laughs> and a lot of it's, like these Excel spreadsheets, like well, column one is supposed to add column two and then become column three. She said, these aren't adding up. I'm like, I know, I know that. Um, uh, yeah, so I was I was going to say, you know, the advertised amount for is for the 288 492. Um, and so what I would suggest, and I'm gonna put a motion out, is to table it. Um, so that we can, since this is a new proposal, essentially, so we can look at it at budget time and see. And we've also got all members here. Right, but um, yes. I know that we tabled it. That will work. All right. Okay. Who is that? Second. No, no, no. Do I have any problems? I mean, questions or concerns? Problems. Questions or concerns? All right, I have Collins table, refer in a motion, I have Johnny White, Second, all in favor. Oh, did Do you, you guys have any way to pay any of those? Like moving forward, is there if we get it to where the payments are there? Um, do you all have any way to? I think they really just similar. they just recently got this option. This option, mm -hmm. so yeah. I don't. Yeah, and I think that's what we're going to look at at budget time to see. Yeah, we're going to have to look into some other funds and see mm -hmm. what we can do. And I know we had to do an additional in your department last year when the printing costs went mm -hmm. up on the tax bill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we both of our apartments are basically cost-based. Um, so I have a, an initial by John Collins, a second by Johnny White to table. All in favor? Yes? Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. All right. Now we'll get to the minutes. Well, oh, hold on, hold on. We've got issues over here with Eric, so we have to hear him out because he jumped the gun. So we got to we got to do the, the minutes here. Hey, Isn't All right. Good in, not good in. What are where are we at? I don't I don't I don't get to move on. I don't get to move on. I don't get to move on. It says Gillespie abstained from voting, and I did not abstain from voting. All right. Uh, I was either miscounted or there was no request for a no okay so there was no request for a vote no and therefore you didn't vote because you didn't vote yes it was and you my didn't fault that there was a request for a no i but understand you, that we, well why don't you just put motion carried five to zero period or, or yeah five to zero period so usually when i do that i'll say like if this is a nay what do i say you, I mean, if Eric is more amiable to it, saying just say Gillespie um, did not vote. I mean, if he has a he doesn't he, he doesn't, doesn't he didn't physically he did say I vote. abstain from voting. No, he did not. He just did not vote. He would. What I'm hearing you say is that if a nay vote was asked for, you would have voted nay to accept the agenda. That's correct. Okay. So just say that you did not vote. I would just say he did not vote because okay. we did not ask for nays. If it's a, if he wants it in the in the minutes, you can say that I. Neglected to ask for a no vote. Okay. If that would make, will that make you happy? And therefore, I have a no vote. Well, no, you can't. We can't revote. You can't. We can't go revote, back and change what. But I am. I am offering it so that that's the reason why you, your vote is. Eric, I think there what is it was, no vote recorded is because I think it, it was a mistake. Would, yeah, I would. I would think that it would say that President Hugh Banks neglected to ask for nay votes. Therefore. Councilman Gillespie did not participate in the vote. Was not afforded the opportunity to vote. <laughs> you were not afforded the opportunity to vote because of my error. Will that work for you? Well, why was I not afforded the opportunity? I made a mistake. I know, but how do you fix that? That's what we are fixing it. We're fixing it. We're fixing it. She's saying that she didn't get asked to vote. It's going to be put in the minutes that you were not asked. You were not given the opportunity. Then I messed up. By not saying, by not offering, an, and I apologize. Okay. I, I am human. Okay. I made a mistake. No, it was going to be put in the, in the mail. I can put that Lindy did not call for a no vote, and therefore you did not vote. Yeah. That he was not uh, afforded the was ability. Was not afforded the opportunity. The opportunity to vote. Okay, that's good. And if you don't care, and if Heather's okay with it, this will make us a month behind. But what I can do is I'll redo these and I'll bring them back for you to sign at the next meeting so that you can see how it's worded. Yes. So this is the August 8th vote. That'd August be the 8th. August the 8th. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Is the August 22nd vote 
I, uh, I do apologize, Eric. I didn't realize that I didn't ask for a no vote. Please don't shake your head and act like I did it on purpose. Um, so is the August 22nd, I can really is the August 22nd okay? Is the August 22nd okay? The August 22nd is okay. Do I have a motion to accept the August 22nd? I so move. Second. Any questions or concerns? All in favor? There's a seven or the six zero vote. So there is any no, opposed? Any opposed? <laughs> okay. Uh, no. Vote. Should be uh, yay, nay, if such. Okay, that's it. Do I have a motion to? Uh, and I'm not here. I do. I want the originals are here to sign. I have a I have a motion by John Collins to uh, to end the meeting. I have a second by Diane. Any questions or concerns? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? Any nays? Okay. Are you voting nay? No, I'm not voting nay. I said zero. <laughs> yes. yes. You already drank it. Well, it was still raised. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 